Hi guys and welcome down to the Gold Ping Putter Vault here at Ping HQ in Arizona and I'm joined, it's a great privilege to be joined by John Solheim who is Chairman and CEO of Ping. Thank you very much for having me in uh, your study. Let's face it. <laughs> On a yearly basis, how often do you just come here and sit down? Well, sit down. Not, not very often. I mean, that's maybe a couple times a year for for interviews or stuff like that. But ne never just on your own to stare. Uh, once in a while, I walk by and look in here. You know, <laughs> and, and, your head and in. That's, uh, you know, it just, it's it's a special place. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's, you know. it's one of the most amazing rooms I've ever even thought about. Never mind actually being in. Is there a? I mean, this is for. Everyone who doesn't know, this room is a gold putter for everyone who's won using a ping putter. Yeah. Um, is there a putter in here which really kind of springs out? Is there a favourite in here that you know about? Well, yeah, I mean the probably uh, Julius Butter, Boris's putter. One of the first. Uh, one of the first yeah. uh, wins we had, and it, it was a ping C cushion. But just, you know, I mean, his win at the Phoenix Open kind of kicked us off. Mm. You know, we had a, a win or two before that, um, but that that was really big. And I, and Julius, I just, that guy would walk up there, set up, and hit the ball. No practice swing, no, no, no messing around. No messing around. And I mean, just, and just this absolutely fluid swing. I mean, it just, he's a special person. It's fantastic. And, uh, but um, that's all, that, that's the one that we were okay to take home as a souvenir. That one, is that, is that, <laughs> that one okay? Is that one okay? I don't think you'd even get out of this door. <laughs> I, <don't, off laughs> I think John rugby tackles went to the ground. I don't think. Um, so we've got a couple of uh, questions that we've asked on uh, kind of Twitter that I just want to put on to. But then, you. then another one would be. Uh, George Archer when he won the Masters, which was our first major. Well, you were saying he was the best putter on tour in his day for, for yeah. an absolute giant as well. Yeah. Six, six foot six, you say. Six or? foot six and uh, just a, a wonderful man. And I mean, it was a lot of fun back then because he'd come to the plant and him and Carson would be just arguing and yelling at each other, all walking through. They totally respected each other, but they had di different opinions and they argued it out. And, um, but I mean, it just... Uh, special man that, that really had a talent. Awesome, fantastic. And, and you were saying before um, that this is like one of the most exciting times to be involved in golf because of the materials available. What do you think, it's very hard to kind of predict, but what do you think is one of the big next steps that we should really expect in kind of club technology? I know we're trying the new kind of G range out um, very, very shortly, but can you envisage what, what's coming up in your mind, well, they, do you think? They, yeah, they, the tools we have, TrackMan is one of them, but then finite element uh, to analyze and where you need material, where you don't. Okay, uh, you know. Plus, you got the golf ball, which is our tuning fork. Mm -hmm. So that that if the golf ball changes, we've got to tune it all over again. Uh -huh. You know. So you you got to think about that. But it, it just uh, being able to analyze we the way we do and being able to experiment with these new materials. The material on the face of the G30 driver and the, the new driver that's coming along is a different alloy that when we tested it wouldn't stand up. Mm. Our guys wrote a different heat treat and it stood up. So it just, you know, using a non-standard heat treat made it uh, do it. But you got to be able to do these type of things to, to get the most out of the materials. And, you know, we're trying to lighten up places and make other places heavy to, uh, to get the performance, you know. And then the aerodynamic thing is it's just lots of fun. That's a uh, whole new A whole, a whole new it. thing. And I mean, it, well, let's put it this way. I mean, my dad worked on aerodynamics. My brother had to hold the, the, the car at 100 miles an hour exactly out on some, he won't even tell me where he was driving. <laughs> Uh, when they did it, but he had, and while my dad was sticking the the head of the driver out the window, out the window. With, a, with a spring gauge, tr measuring the differences of uh, different shapes that he was experimenting with, but uh, oh. you know, today we use wind tunnels and uh, very effectively. So you don't go 
get in the truck and smash it down the, the no, highway no, holding we, the driver we, out we, the window anymore. We don't do that anymore. But the, um, you know, the thing is, we're doing most of the analy analyzing on computer, but then we uh, prove it out on wind tunnels. Fantastic. Well, that uh, absolutely awesome. And thank you so much for allowing us to uh, come into this amazing room. And thank you for having us over these last few days. It's been yeah. really, really good. Cool. Great having you. Awesome. Thank you. Guys, thank, thank you. you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Check out the rest of the videos that are from the Ping trip as well, because it has been an absolutely amazing experience. So, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll see you soon. No, we do. It's a really Hi, fun. guys, and welcome down to my new conservatory. <laughs> I'm going to write that in there. <laughs>